family. This is Take 5 with Nanette, where we spend a few moments looking at a nugget of information that has the potential to help all of us change our perspective and learn to think for a change. Um, today, I actually want to talk about um, perspective, uh, which I know I just mentioned with um learning to think for change, it's the theme of Destined to Win Coaching and Destined to Win Leadership Academy. And um, one of the things that we pride, our, pride ourselves in is the philosophy that it's all about perspective. And you can change the outcome of a situation by learning to change your perspective or making a choice to change your perspective. Um, I'm taking a graduate course right now on conflict management. And it's really interesting because one of the things it's talking about is how you a approach conflict or how you approach um you know, a situation like that. And it's interesting because all of us, we have patterns of how we approach those things, whether we realize it or not. And it takes um, self-reflection for you to be able to look at, uh, step back from your own behavior and your own responses, or um, in some cases, your own reactions. And ask yourself, why did I respond that way? Um, and, and in fact, when we do that on a regular basis, that's when, when we step back from those things on a regular basis, that's when we're able to very often pick up a pattern in our own behavior. You know, in James, which um, most of us don't like to consider that verse and think about that verse uh, or that chapter, it talks, it says, consider it joy. When you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. Um, and let endurance have its perfect result. You know, um, that may be, not be an exact quote, but um, because I don't have my Bible in front of me, I'm going off of memory. But one of the things that it always bugged me growing up, since I grew up in a pastor's home, that I was supposed to consider a joy when I went through a trial. That is not naturally our first response as human beings. But I want to challenge you to think about it as all it needs is a perspective change. When a disagreement happens in my day or when I have things planned and they start not going the way I have planned and I start feeling like I'm losing control, or um, you have a flat tire on your way to work. What if the very first thing we asked ourselves was, Lord, what do you have for me in this? Because if we really trust the Lord's lead leading and guidance in our lives, we are going to believe that even if something like that happens, and I don't believe that he causes that to happen, but that even if something like that happens in our life, he has, if we give him, yield our responses and our reactions over to him, he has the opportunity to um, grow us in that. He has the opportunity to take what Satan meant for evil and to turn it for good. Um, we have the opportunity to receive something from him as a result of our humbling ourselves before him and laying it down instead of keep trying to take back control of things or reacting because we're not in control. 
So I just want to challenge you to step back from your own behavior and take a look.